heaven more than we know. He sees farther than we know. He has the spirit of God more than we have. And if he says anything or does anything, maybe he knows something about the situation. That's why he did what he did. You'll excuse your pastor. You'll not murmur against your pastor. Your, your pastor, you want to get to heaven. It says in the verse 10, neither murmur ye. As some of them also murmured, and they were destroyed of the destroyed. Look at verse 11. Now all these happened unto them. For example, and they are reaching for, for admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Verse 6. Now these things were for our examples to the intent. For the purpose we should not lost after evil things as they also lusted. We know the history of those people. They couldn't get in, but we are going to get in. I said we are going to get in. Hebrews chapter 3. Hebrews chapter 3. I'm reading there from verse 12. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 12. It says, take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart departing from the living God. And then it says, but exalt one another daily while it is called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Don't allow your friend to be hardened by sinning. Sinning and sinning and sinning. And saying, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. And it's your friend. Exhort one another every day. That, that's not good, that's not right. That's a part of backsliding. Come back, come back. And it says in verse 14, For we are made partakers of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end, while it is said today, if ye will hear his voice, Harding not your hearts as in the provocation for some when they had heard did provoke how be each not all that came out of Egypt by Moses but with whom was he grieved forty years was it not for them that had sinned whose carcasses fell in the wilderness and to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believed not in verse 19, so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Murmuring, it was because of unbelief. They had lost, it was because of unbelief. And that's why they couldn't enter in. You will enter in. I said you will enter in. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. If we sin deliberately, intentionally, willfully, after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sin. When somebody knows that something is wrong and he says i know it's wrong i know the word of god i can even preach against it i know the chapter i know the verse but i'm going to do it all the same i told you the other day it's like a person saying doctor wait for me there and treat me when i'm through i'm going to drink poison don't drink it don't drink it i said i'm going to drink it if I die, I die. But stay around so that doctor, you help me and give me the antidote. But I'm going to drink it deliberately. That person is going to die. No remedy. And when somebody knows that sin is poisonous, and sin will make the spirit of God leak away from your life, make the anointing to leak away from your life, and can stop your opportunity, and can completely take away what God has given you and said I know but I'm going to do it all the same it's like Uza knowing here is the ark of the Lord and we're taking it to the place where the Lord has said don't touch it don't touch it 
just put poles here and poles there and carry it on your shoulder yes we know that's what the bible says but we are going to have a cart and we're going to allow a horse a mule and ass to draw it and then the thing shook and then Uzzah uh, stretched out his hand and touched it he died right there it's like the young prophet don't come back by the same way that you have gone don't eat there and don't drink there and the king said come home with me and eat yourself come home with me refresh yourself I said I may not do it because here is the watch of the Lord for me and he says I'll go here I take another way and come back don't eat there and don't drink there and he came back and then was resting on the way my friend young prophet is that what the Lord told you rest on the way stay down there and be relaxing and then what we are told is the old prophet came and said are you the man that came from Bethlehem Judah yes I am I'm here a prophet like you are and he just spoke to me and he said I should bring you back and he went back what happened to him I said what happened to him he was killed by a lion think about that if we sin willfully deliberately doing what we shouldn't do I don't think there's anybody in this show that will say I've not you know read almost all the Bible to you Monday Bible study Sunday worship Thursday revival hour I've read almost the whole Bible to you and sometimes uh, you know even go out of my way make it practical give illustration give illustration you'll not say you don't know and then after you have heard then to say I'm going to go my own way that's deadly that's dangerous that's deceptive don't do that in verse 26 again in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26 for if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth there remains no more sacrifice for sin but a fear a, a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fairy indignation which shall devour the adversaries you'll not be an adversary you'll not be an enemy of Christ you'll not be an enemy of the cross you'll not be an enemy of the church you'll not be an enemy of the doctrines of the Bible give me a good amen, amen. in verse 28 he that he that despised Moses Lord died without mercy on the two or three witnesses of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy who have trodden on the foot the Son of God and has counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified and unholy sin and has done despite unto the Spirit of grace. For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongeth unto me, I will recompense, says the Lord, and again the Lord shall judge his people. Verse 31, everybody reading it at loud, won't you go? Once again, brothers and sisters. Now for the last time, God bless you. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You know, there are people that are so familiar with God. And they can do anything they want to do and sin deliberately, steal deliberately, commit fornication deliberately, go into adultery deliberately. And they're not afraid that the husband of that lady, of that woman, may know. And the Lord can expose you. And the man in the fury of the moment can kill you and send you to hell prematurely. There are people that do not understand. You can get into a lot of problems just by one act of evil. And that's the reason why you need to understand this fearful sin to fall into the hands of the living God. I pray God will preserve our lives. We're going to get to that heaven. The Lord has gone to prepare a place for you and you must be there. I said you must be there. Get rid of those things. Get rid of those things. Little, little drops of water make a mighty ocean. You know, the mind is like, you know, the scientists will tell you and the, the psychologists will tell you 
that in our brain we have cells and those cells are connected that's why when we hear we remember when we see it registered on our mind and those cells the way they are connected is like when there is uh, maybe a bush pass if you are walking on that bush path every day, walking on that bush path every day, you'll make such a road there, almost concrete, almost, almost touch. It'll be very clear. When you have an action of disobedience every day, you repeat it, you repeat it, you repeat it. It makes a pass in your subconscious that almost unconsciously you'll be doing it later. That's the reason why cut it off from the very beginning that no, that's sin, I'll not do that. That's evil, I'll not do that. That's disobedience, I will not do that. That's going to lead me to a dangerous sin, a dangerous habit, I'll not do that. In Hebrews chapter 12, Hebrews chapter 12, I'm reading from verse 25. See, that she refused not him that speaketh. For if they escaped not, who refused him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven whose voice there should be heard but now he has promised saying yet once more i shake not the earth only but also heaven and this word yet once more signifies the removing of those things that are shaking as of the things that are made that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and what? Tell me out loud. And godly fear. When last did you have godly fear in serving the Lord? When last did you have godly fear in preaching the word of God? When last did you have godly fear in ministering, reverence, reverence, respect, and honor, exalting the name of the Lord and forgetting yourself? For our God is a consuming fire. Point number three, point number three, watchfulness and endurance through constant, constant perseverance. Watchfulness, watchfulness, you are going to watch. I said you are going to watch over your soul, over your spirit, over your heart, over your action, over your life, over your family, over the word of God. Watch. In Matthew chapter 24, Matthew chapter 24, 24 verse 24. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect i pray they will not deceive you behold i have told you before watch let's look at mark chapter 13. mark chapter 13 i'm going to read from verse 33 take heed take heed watch and pray for ye know not when the time is for the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore. Watch ye therefore. Watch ye therefore. You know those children of Israel that came out of Egypt and they didn't get to the land of Canaan. They didn't watch, they didn't watch, they didn't watch Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. They didn't watch. They thought because they saw Moses every day. They didn't understand the difference between them. The distance between them and Moses. And Moses said, come. I need to talk to you. They said, we're not coming. You make yourself a lord, a ruler over the people. You say you are taking us to the land of promise, a land that is free with milk and honey. Where is the land? All this food we're eating, just manna. We're fed up with this. We are not going to come. And Moses said, Oh Lord, don't accept their sacrifice. Oh Lord, don't accept their person. Oh Lord, don't accept anything from them. And those people, Korah, Dathan, and Abiram, died prematurely. And they went to hell alive. 
you know elijah went to heaven alive enoch went to heaven alive but these ones korah Dathan, and abiram they as open and swallowed them up they went to hell alive because they were not watching and the lord is saying watch over yourself my brother watch over yourself my sister when you came to the kingdom of god you came because of heaven you came because of what jesus did for you on the cross of calvary and all the other things that may come after privilege of ministry privilege of preaching and privilege of having this or having that in the kingdom of god all that is privilege watch yourself and jesus christ said take in and watch and pray for ye know not when the time is for the son of man is as a man taking a journey he left his house and he and he gave authority to his servants to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch what she therefore for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at evening at midnight or at cock crowing or in the morning lest he come let's come in suddenly he find you sleeping what i say i say what i say unto you i say unto all watch we're going to watch i said we're going to watch matthew chapter 26 matthew chapter 26 and we're reading there from verse 41 watch and pray you know there are many people that pray but they don't watch are careless and they think it's only prayer watch and pray there are some people they'll fast and pray fast pray fast pray they're fasting and praying almost every time but they're not, they not watching they're not watching words coming out of their mouth no control the places they go no checking and the books they read they don't watch anything and the friends they have they don't watch they only pray prayer alone will not do it watch watch and pray you know sometimes whatever their mind suggests at a particular they just go ahead and do it whatever the mind is pumping out they just soak it in and suck it up but it says watch and pray that she enter not into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak luke chapter 21 luke chapter 21 and i'm reading here from verse 34 luke 21 verse 34 and take each to yourselves that's watching take each to yourselves lest at any time lest at any time lest at any time you know the time of success that's part of the time the time of victory that's part of the time the time when everything is going on well for you that's part of the time the time when you think now i can relax remember david it was a time of war the time of battle and all the kings were going to war but david decided he was going to relax at that time David decided he was going to just stay back home at that time. He wasn't going to overlabor himself at that time now because, after all, I've killed Goliath, I've killed the Philistines. After all, everybody knows that I am mighty and a great conqueror, waxing stronger and stronger. He didn't watch. So at that time, he was then looking, he was then looking.